Hello viewers, during this short video session, I'm going to be taking us through EIGRP configuration on FTD using Flex Config. This is a simple topology which we are going to be considering. We have the router connected to the FTD and the FTD connected to the internet. We have two subnets behind the router which we want to share with the FTD. And in order to achieve that, the subnets are 172.16.1.0 and 172.16.1.4 and in order to achieve that we need to configure dynamic routing protocol between the router and the FTD so that routes can be exchanged appropriately now I'm going to bring up the FMC and for those of us that are familiar, uh, familiar with uh, FMC, FTD this is my FTD that's a money device I'm going to click on edit this is the interface. Uh, you can see the interface details here. We have the inside with the IP address, the outside with the IP address. I'm going to click on the routing tab. Those of us that are familiar with FMC, FTD, we know that EIGRP configuration uh, is not uh, possible from the FMC under the routing tab. Like if you look at the routing tab, we have the USPF, we have the RIP, we have the BGP static multicast routing so there's no place uh, through which we can configure ehrgrp now so cisco have come up with flex config on fmc so with flex config we can achieve this so in order to do that i will go to objects and i'll go to object management and i'll scroll down I will come down to flex configure on that you see text object i'm going to click on that and let me just filter on the right hand corner here for eigrp we can see some predefined some system a uh, defined eigrp object and see eigrp is which the value is one this for yes one instead of changing this i'll just create mine and now we'll say my eigrp is and here is value I will put it which is going to be 100 that's here's value we are using according to what we have here so that has been created and now another thing is network and now I'll see my EIGRP network so I'm going to change this to multiple because I have multiple entry because I'm going to configure Two network entries so i increase the count to two so here i have my 92.168.20.0255255250 and don't forget this is a firewall so we are going to make use of um subnet instead of white card so as in subnet mask and not white card mask 55.255 55.255.0 so i have my two networks there okay okay everything correctly so i'm going to see so for the text object now i've created the AS and i've created the uh, network so now i move to flex config object from the flex config object i will let me filter for here grp can see um, EIGRP configure, which is the first one here. I'll just copy it, I'll duplicate it. I can just copy what we have here and create my own, but I can edit this also. Let me see my, uh, let me just see my EIGRP config. And this is the router EIGRP, this is supposed to be the AS. So I'm going to select it from the dollar sign uh, down and I'm going to come here, text object, and I'm going to come here, I'm going to select the AS, the object that was created, that I created earlier on, and the variable name, yeah, I can just say AS100, and I'm going to save, and now I come here, to enter the network value so i select this from the dollar sign to the end and i will click on this here text object 
and here i'm going to look for my customized text object for network which you can see here and i'm going to add it to selected object i will just name it i just say here jrp network so that's done and now that i've been done for the rest i will remove them i don't need them in this uh, session yeah jrp stop summary static and the rest so i'll leave it I'll stop here so we can use the no auto summary so this is all we need we have the attire jrp 100 which is the s that is defined here and we have the network that is defined here and we have no auto summary here so fine now we just say save and again before i save we have here deployment which is once and every time we have uh, we have two options on that side we have append and we have prepaid so now for deployment we choose once normally it just deploy this conversion once and that's all but in some cases you may want to use every time and every time means every time anybody is deploying any configuration to the ftd uh, that's to the sensor device immediately after that conversion has been deployed this configuration will also be deployed that means every time there's a deployment initiated there's a deployment push initiated this config will always be deployed also uh, that's in some cases maybe someone did a configuration changes and whatever that negates what we have here even though that configuration is deployed this will also be deployed immediately after that so you always have this config and mind you if you want to choose deployment type of even to choose deployment of every time i mean for deployment you want to choose every time for that um you want to choose every time for that every time it must be append as in the type you are going to choose so if you choose every time i choose the type prepaid is not going to work it's going to give you error it's going to give you error so if you are using every time you must use append but we are going to use once. I don't have anything to use every time once. And I'm going to say append. Also, nevertheless, I'll use append. So doesn't matter. So I'm going to click on save. And now I've saved that. So now the next thing for me to do, I'll go to devices. And from devices, I move to flex config. And I had a new policy. Let me just say here. Yeah, okay, let me just say yeah, IGRP, IGRP 100. And I'm going to select my target device in case whereby we have multiple FTDs. So we select the FTD in which the flex configuration will be pushed to. And I've select, I've been done that. I save. And now, if you come here on your left hand side, available flex config and see user defined, system defined. So user defines are the ones uh user define will contain the flex config uh, configurations which i created myself the system defined will contain the default ones so i'm going to select uh user define which is my here jrp config i'm going to click on this arrow and you can see it move it under selected append flex configs if you remember under the flex config object i selected append and not prepend so it's going to be here so i'm going to click on save and i'll say preview config uh and i'll select device preview configs will just give you the it shows you the command line the command line equivalent of the first uh, configuration so that's exactly what we push the ftd so it, sometimes it takes a while so let's wait is retrieving from the command line interface so okay we can see that now you can see here flex config appended cli route IRGRP on the network network you can see all that so i'm going to do close and i'm just going to deploy i'm deploying to this ftd the one so now i'm going to bring up my my router is my router this is my ftd so let's see the router already have um, eigrp configured on it 
Ya, ya, please already configure the router. So, see what we happen. So, neighborship should come up. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to bring up my, my console. So, let's wait for the deployment. Sixty-three percent, eighty percent. So I'm waiting for the completion of the deployment. Oh, you can see now, neighborship is coming up. Okay, we can see from the console, neighborship has been established with 192.168.20.5, which happens to be our FTD. Let me come here, device, device management, and let me click on this edit. As you can see, 20.5, that's our FTD. So let me come here. I'll just show IP, um, IP, IG, IP, neighbor. You can see this is the FTD. We have another neighborship which is with another router that is connected to the router, but this one we are concerned with. This is the FTD. You can see, and if you look at my topology here, so that's it. F20 is the router interface that is connected to the FTD on Gig00. So we have neighborship here. So I'm going to show IP uh, routes on the router. And as we can see, is the router is learning this 40 subnet 40 dot 40 dot 40 dot 0 is learning it from via is learning via 192.168.20.5, which is the FTD. And the update is coming from interface FA20 of the router. So we have that. So now let me come to the FTD. Let me go to the FTD router. So I'm going to do show. Show running router. We are going to see the ERGRP uh, command uh, configuration there, and I can also say show ERGRP neighbors. We can also see the neighborship. So the ERGRP has from neighborship, uh, the FTD has from established neighborship with 192.168.26, which happens to be our router. So we can see all that. So I'm going to do show route. And we can see our FTD is already learning routes from the router. It's learning this from the router. You can see via 192.168.20.6. And it's also learning this from the router. 192.168.20.6. So these are the two subnets you want our FTD to learn 172.16.10 and 172.16.14. Just like we have here in our topology 172.16.10. 16614 they are put behind the router so ftd as lender so that's just in a nutshell that's how to configure ergrp on your ftd using flex config very simple so now let me do one more thing before we leave here i want to clean up the ergrp configuration so there are two ways in which i can do that i can come here to object uh object object management click on that and i scroll down i come to text and let me filter for ergrp and we can see i'm looking for something is not supposed to be is it not supposed to be here yes this is okay let me come to flex config Let's config ERGRP. Oh, fine. We have ERGRP on configure. Let me view this. So this basically you can say no router ERGRP and you specify the AS. Our own is 100. So I can duplicate this. I can duplicate this. And I just specify my AS. So I just come here. Insert. Text object. Where's my 
uh, let me do mine this is the s which i created yes 100 i put it here yes 100 so if i deploy this it's going to do it's going to remove yes 100 so that's it there's another way i can use this don't remove yes 100 let me okay yeah jp let me put my here so always remember okay so now i'm going to do save now i've saved that so i come to device flex config and i'm going to edit my let's config conversion here and if you look here we have my eigrp the one i just created to remove that out in process and i do this if you look at this now you can see we have it here under prepaint because from the flex config object is under prepaint now if i didn't remove this which i have other paint this is my eigrp configuration and this is to configure eigrp the right routing process for 100 es 100 this is to remove it so even if i save this let me let me preview config ftd1 It always take a while, so let's just hold on for it. Okay. Okay, fine. You can see no router here GRP 100. It's not showing, it's only showing that of the prepaint. It's not showing that of the append because it has been deployed already and there's no change. But now I'm I'm not going to remove that which you have under a paint, and I'm going to deploy that. I'm going to deploy it like that. What we should expect is this: it's going to remove, just like we have under prepaint. It's going to remove routing process hundred, and it's going to come to a paint, and it's going to configure it again. It's going to create routing process hundred again. So the best way is for us to remove this which you have under a paint, which you used to configure so but in that case let me just deploy let me just leave it let's see what's going to happen i'm going to deploy deploy our configuration let's wait for it Fifteen percent. Let me just pause the video. You can see the neighborship is down. That's it. Show IP IP neighbor. Oh, okay. I know what's happening. Let me come here. Show running. Config router. Don't have it anymore. Show. Um, yeah, GRP neighbors. Don't have anything now. Like I said earlier, on that supposed to after removing it, it's supposed to configure it back. But I remember just now that under the flex config, let's come back here under this flex config um object object management we'll come here let's configure object let me filter for my hair grp and do edit i'm going to change this to every time every time because it's not in every time but that's why if not that is going to be deployed again the, the routing process for 100 is going to be created again so let me come to sorry let's config as you can see we have here okay i'm going to deploy now
So now because I've changed this to every time, so even though we have this config to remove, so even if this uh, under prepend, this uh, flex config object remove the routing process, this will create it back because I've set it to every time. So every time there's a deployment push, this will always be initiated. So the routing process will always be recreated again. But this also for this prepend is also once is not on every time. But I just I just want us to see, I mean, what uh, the difference between once and every time. So let me bring up my console. Let's see if the IJRP process will come back up. Now we can see the IGRP process is up again. So that's it. So every time the deployment is being put to the FTD, the EIGRP, uh, EIGRP process of 100 will always be repushed. That configuration will always be repushed. And let's come to the FTD. Um, let's run our commands again. Neighbors. You can see neighbors if it's formed. And we can see the routing uh, configuration and we can also do show show routes and see the routes that have been laid 172.16.10 and 172.16.14 so another thing I want to do another way I will delete this to remove I will delete this there's a system defined uh, flex configuration here let me filter for it on configure my EIGRP on config, I'm going to move it here. Let's see what, let's view what we have under my EIGRP on config. You can see no router. Oh, not this. This is mine. This is my own. That's not what I want. Delete. Okay, EIGRP on config or oh, system defined. The system defined. Let's see what we have there. You can see clear configure router EIGRP. So I'm just going to save. I will preview the config and I'll just deploy. And that we also remove the IGRP process. So let's see, let me go back to the router. I'm going to pause the video. So now we are on 80% the deployment. Still in progress. Yeah, right now we can see peer termination message have been received. So show IP here, neighbor. There's no neighborship with the FTD anymore. This with another router. The FTD is 192.168.20 dot uh, five so i'm going to come to the ftd right now let me show routes we are no longer learning any route from here you can see that show running configure i don't have any igrp configuration so yeah IGRP neighbors we don't have any neighborship being established so that is where this session is going to stop and i have to believe we've learned one or two things Thank you very much for viewing.